All right, we woke up at about six o'clock, or I woke up at six o'clock and eventually got everybody else up. We are packing up, we're almost ready to go. We had showers this morning. Uh, we're at Roy Lake State Park in South Dakota. We, um, the showers were really, really nice. Probably the nicest state park showers I've ever used. Um, so we're all cleaned up, refreshed, and I'm gonna stay another 15 minutes. We'll probably be on the road. Like I said, alarm went off at six. It's almost eight, so we might be out of here by a quarter after eight. All right, we decided to stop at um, the Frontier Village and Buffalo Museum in Jamestown, North Dakota. The kids are over on that little playground playing. We had a little picnic. Over here we have the world's largest buffalo down this path here up on top of the hill. There's a wild herd of buffaloes out here with an albino sacred buffalo, which we haven't been able to spot yet. And then over on this side is the National Buffalo Museum, which we went to. Um, this little area with the little frontier museum is free, but the museum cost the whole family together like $24 to go in. And it was okay, but <clears throat> um, this is a good picnic stop. Since we stopped here, we're probably going to skip our next. All right, everyone, we are at the Cottonwood Campground um, in the middle of Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota. We have an awesome camping spot right on the edge of the tent camping ground along this river. I'm standing in my camp spot right now. And as you can see, it's pretty awesome. We have a little bit of clouds over it, but it's very, very windy. Um, here's our campsite just right behind the river here. Um, no fire pit, only a grill to grill. We had to walk in our stuff about, oh, I don't know, 50 or 75, 100 yards, probably 100 yards. So we carried all this stuff in. Um, our tent doesn't, we don't have a lot of confidence in it in the wind, so we have not put the rain fly on yet. We're going to wait to see if this wind dies down. It's, it's a solid 20 miles per hour, maybe gusting up to 25, 30 every now and then. Um, but yeah, we got all of our stuff in. We had a good trip. The weather, other than the wind here, looks good. It's not supposed to rain, but there is a slim chance of thunderstorm. So we might be waking up and throwing that rain fly on in the middle of the night. But as you can see, I mean, we got a lot of space here. It's very beautiful. We're gonna do a little drive around the park, I think, later tonight after we eat a little dinner and just relax for just a little bit. And um, we saw a couple little bit of the park driving in but um, we're gonna try to to loop the hole inside and maybe do a small hike too um, but we're all set up and ready to go um, and had a good trip here all right just a little tip as we travel here so on days where we're at kind of primitive camping in non-ideal conditions with this wind that we have um, it's I really like to use these uh, freeze-dried freeze -dried backpacker meals. So we carry a lot of these with us just in case, you know, it can be late at night or, um, you know, we're not going to have a campfire roasting, you know, steaks or anything in this kind of situation. So we just have a little backpacker camping stove heating up some water. I'm going to dump it in here and eat it. I'll make Viv some like macaroni and cheese or something um, later on. And, uh, and then we'll just have, you know, snacks on top of that. So we'll be a little bit more primitive tonight than what we might normally be if we were camping in the car. Because we're kind of, you know, the car is 100 yards away and all of our, you know, fresh meat and food is in there. So this is a little more primitive. So we carry both stuff with us like that when we travel. Um, and you might want to consider that if you're doing a trip like this. It gives you a little more flexibility in terms of where you can camp. You can camp in cooler places like this instead of, uh, you know, surrounded by like 50 RVs. Um, and so forth. Okay. Okay, we are here and we just 
um, finished getting out of the lake because we um, went there. The river. And yeah, um, I found lots of crystals, and this was only one of them. Here you go. Okay, guys, we were driving around the park, and um, these buffalo want to tangle with us. Ooh, that one looks like he's mad. Maybe we should turn off our flashing lights. Everybody's coming. Mama? Mm -hmm. And baby. There's your roller. He's rolling. Yes, he's having fun out there. Oh, there's more. Miles, look at him rolling in the dirt. Look at him. <laughs> Just be quiet. I'm rolling in the dirt. Rolling, rolling in the dirt. I am rolling in the dirt. I'm sleeping down in the dirt. He's just gonna like, he's just like, I'm gonna enjoy my life sitting down. Rolling in the dirt. I'm gonna rolling in the dirt. Ew! All right, I'm gonna Please give me some new milk. We have a giant, giant buffalo coming toward us. I hope he does not ram our car. Don't make any sudden movements. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. <laughs> okay folks, while we were out nearly petting buffalo, we left the rain fly off of our tent because it was so windy we were worried it was gonna fly away and uh, this is what happened here. Um, we had a storm go in we got here right before it really started pouring, but it had been raining a, a little bit. So we were seriously drying out. All the chairs tipped over. That's from the wind. Um, and But most of our stuff is not stopping wet. But basically we're in a lake. The other side of the tent is a lake. We're on a little island kind of right now. So. I love it! But I think we're going to... The kids are having fun, so that's good. Yeah, see? Alright, so... Here we go. Trying to dry out. Hopefully it doesn't rain anymore. I'm hoping it clears up and the wind stays like it is right now so we can dry out a little bit. And we'll see how we are in the morning.